I'm, I've been a judge compare, uh, and uh, you know, actually, the business side is fairly easy. I mean, you can look at a business, and but trying to trying to judge who is more beautiful and who else, uh, that is very very difficult. I would, ha you know, it's, that's a, that's a sort of judging I've never had to do in a professional capacity before. So you're taking this seriously, and obviously you're looking at their assets, and uh, I'm sure you're getting lots of jokes about this, Richard. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a t as I said, I, I, I did it for nothing. You know, most of the time, you know, you do something for something, and uh, that that was just a completely free gig. I just felt very charitable when it came to that. Oh right, and and but, you know, I'm also I'm also <laughs> go on. Yeah. <laughs> no, you go on. I'm also doing something. Else. You know, I'm also you know I'm also involved with. Uh, I was just thinking I'm involved with Rolf Harris. You know, he's got a, a new invention which is under wraps at the moment. Uh, nothing to do with his sort of normal things like an extra leg or or, uh, <laughs> or about anything to do with animals. Or but it's uh, an invention that he's had, and so I'm working with Rolf to uh, launch a product of his. But uh, you know, it's, as I say, it's quite tough to get things off the ground at the moment. I suppose you can't tell us any so more about that. It's not just. It's not just pretty young models that I'm, that I'm involved with. Well, right no, now. no, Rolf is definitely in another category, but uh, you can't give us any hint on that because it is very tempting from top models to Rolf Harris. Well, he's, he's, you would not think it, it, it's actually a brand new sort of coat hanger. Now, it doesn't sound earth shattering, but Rolf had this problem when he's traveling from A to B, you know, because he does a lot of performing still, uh, that his clothes would fall off hangers and things like that when they were being transported. And so he's invented a, a, a nice sort of hanger that doesn't do that. But You're not going to call it Jake the Peg or anything? Checking. It's not Jake the Peg or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, he is a lovely man. I was in a restaurant, I was in a restaurant here in London with him the other day, and uh, I, I said, I'm like all Aussies, you know, I've got a didgeridoo at home, but I've got no idea how to play it. You know, I just sort of get it and go like that. I don't have no idea. And he was giving me lessons on how to play it, play it, play it, and I was sort of blowing water out of my mouth into the glass, following what he did. The two of us are doing this in the middle of the restaurant. We're getting some odd looks. There's a guy off Dragon's Den, and there's Rolf Harris spitting water into a thing like that. And, and so he told me how to do the breathing, and then I said, well, how do you get it to go oh, like that? How do you get it to change tune? And he goes, you just go oh. <laughs> so anyway, he's a lovely guy, 82, and a fantastic mind and, and just a lovely guy. Well, we're going to look forward to both of those things, Richard, City Top Models and the Rolf Harris um, coat hanger. But thank you very much for talking to us. I'm glad we finally got the chance to get the satellite up. It's been delightful, and I look forward to talking to you again. All right, thank you very much, Janine. Have fun. And now for a little funny business about debts. Funny business about debts. People of a certain age may remember that Tennessee Ernie Ford sang, you load 16 tonnes and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. I spoke that, not sang it, obviously. Well, the United States is getting deeper in debt by the minute, not the day. The national debt has just risen to an amazing $13 trillion. How much is $13 trillion? If you place $13 trillion $1 bills end-to-end, -end, you could create a line extending all the way to Jupiter and back. It took the federal government 206 years to hit the first trillion dollars in debt and to go from $12 trillion to $13 trillion, just six months. We will have a debt on the course we're on of 400% of our gross domestic product, and that will bury us. In February, President Obama signed a law that was supposed to do something about this. It's called the Pay-As-You-Go Act. It says to Congress, you have to pay as you go. You can't spend a dollar unless you cut a dollar elsewhere. Since then, Congress has passed about $230 billion in new spending that is not paid for. How can you expect to have any credibility talking about debt and deficit when we continue to see such high levels of deficit spending? First of all, we have initiated the PAYGO rules. I think we deserve a lot of credit for that. But we can and we see deficit spending. Let me answer your question, okay? We have some emergencies. Emergencies come up. Webster's defines emergency as an unforeseen combination of circumstances. In Congress, emergency means you don't need to pay for it. The emergency bills Congress has taken up over the past few months include $20 billion for highway construction, $54 million for tax breaks for TV and movie production costs, $67 million in payments to Filipino World War II vets, and $15 million in aid to the Congo. It all adds up, of course. While you were watching this story, the national debt went up about $3 million. And that's all we have time for tonight. Tomorrow, among other things, we'll be looking at the popular topic of philanthropy. Who's giving what or not? Join us then.